Hello again. This is um, a video on how to choose uh, between cloth nappies and disposable nappies. Because this is a big question that a lot of parents um, come to the workshops looking for an answer as to whether they'll use cloth nappies or disposable nappies. The interesting thing is that most of us forget that you can use both. Um, we certainly did. When we had Daniel, we started out using cloth nappies just at home and disposable nappies when we went out. And the reason why we used cloth nappies to start with was for uh, a cost-saving benefit because we'd worked out that we could save a couple of thousand dollars easily by using cloth nappies. Um, so we started out on a costing side of things. Um, but then as we got into it and we used more and more cloth nappies, we found that we were actually um, saving a lot of money. But the waste factor became quite important. We hadn't realised how much um, we were wasting as far as rubbish went out every week. Um, we'd gone from a, a, a small bag of rubbish with two grown adults uh, and no baby in the house to a giant wheelie bin that was mostly full of disposable nappies in the early days. So um, as we started introducing more and more cloth nappies, we noticed that the disposable nappies reduced as well. But what was really interesting was we used the combination, so we had the, the daytime with the cloth nappies at home, um, nighttime and out and about with disposable nappies, and it was really convenient. Um, and I still see all these parents going, well, we need to choose one or the other, like which one are we going to go with them, completely forgetting that you can just use both. The interesting thing with the disposable nappies is obviously that when you use them, and say you go through um, around five, five and a half thousand of them for one child, um, then that's a lot of nappies that go to landfill and just stay there. Um, over time they may break down, but um, at this stage we don't know how long they take to break down. So every single time you use a disposable nappy and you wrap it up into a little bundle and you stick it in the rubbish bin, it goes off to the landfill and it's there for who knows how long. Um, and so that that side of it for us became a real concern because all of a sudden there's all these little tiny nappies that are used for what an hour an hour and a half sometimes wrapped up into the rubbish bin and off they go to a landfill that's one baby in our family when you think that then in New Zealand there is um, around a million nappies a day that go to landfill that's a million nappies a day so that's seven million nappies a week what I started realizing was that every time we do this, like that, that's a lot of nappies that go there for all these babies that will stay there for who knows how long and have a massive impact every single day. It's not like we just stop having babies so it's not, not a problem anymore. They, they continue to poo and so we continue to put nappies into the landfill. So what we started looking at, and for me it became, as I started educating people, it became a little bit of a, a thing to um, help encourage people to just, like, you know, when you're looking at that decision, which one will we, will, will we use, why not just try one cloth nappy a day? Like, just one. Like, everybody could do one cloth nappy change a day. In the morning when you get up and the baby's going to be changed and then you might be heading out the door, but instantly when they wake up in the morning you change them. That could be a cloth nappy. And then later on when you're going out the door you can put them into a disposable. But if you have one cloth nappy change a day and if every person in New Zealand with a child in nappies would use just one cloth nappy a day, just one change a day, then that would be a million nappies a week that don't go to landfill in New Zealand. So one often doesn't feel like very much. Like we're just thinking, oh, if I use one, it's not really, like how much difference is it actually making? It's not really making that much difference. And this can be said for a lot of products, you know. Oh, well, it's just one. But one turns into two, which turns into three, which turns into seven, which turns into, you know, every, over a year you've got one a day that's 365. So one cloth nappy a day is 365 a year. That works out in the end. It just doesn't feel like it today, just one. But one makes a difference. If everybody does just one, then we make a huge difference. But often we're looking at the big picture. We're all looking at how much difference can we make if we just change one thing. Actually, we can all make a huge difference if we all just changed one thing. 
in order for things to change, we have to change what we do. It's not about everybody else. It's bringing it back to ourselves, making one small change. So when you're looking at the cloth versus disposable nappies, forget the all or nothing. Just try one cloth nappy a day. Commit to one a day. You make a difference. 365 a year. That's not nothing. It's something. It makes a difference. And even at just that one nappy a day, you are doing your bit. Then you might really love it and you might include two or three or four and then get right into it. But if you can commit to one a day, then you're doing your bit. You're having a go. And, and at the end of the day, we're all doing one thing that will help change the outcome, especially when it comes to waste. Now, I think another thing I'd like to bring up to your attention as well is that a lot of people don't realise um, when they use, like in, in the consideration of cloth versus disposable nappies, for example, um, there's no thought taken to how actually are they different. I mean, at the end of the day, really the only difference is that the cloth nappies, you have to rinse the poo out and then you have to stick them in a bucket and then into the washing machine. So you have to turn the washing machine on. The disposable nappies, you have to rinse the poo out. You do. I'm going to tell you in a minute why. But you have to rinse the poo out, and then you roll it up and you put it in the rubbish bin. So the only difference is that the cloth nappy, once you've put it in the washing machine and the washing machine's done the load, you've got to hang it out. Um, the disposable nappy, you roll it up into a ball and then you stick it in the trash. That's the only real difference. You still have to take the poo out of both nappies, and this is something that a lot of people don't know. When you get a packet of disposable nappies, the next time you're in, in the supermarket, grab a packet off the shelf, or you might have one at home, and find the disposal instructions on there. Because on every single packet, there's a set of disposal instructions on there on how to dispose of the nappy correctly. Most people haven't read it because they don't even know that it's there. Because the usage instructions is generally put somewhere else. So how to use it. There'll be a usage instructions and then there'll be disposal instructions on the opposite side of the packet. So let me read it to you. On this one here, it says, How to dispose if nappy is soiled, empty contents into the toilet. Yes, that's right. You have to put the poo down the loo. Do not flush the nappy down the toilet. People do do it. Um, with waterproof backing on outside, roll nappy into bundle and dispose of appropriately. Again, another really good word, appropriate. That's not out the car window, it's not on the beach, it's not beside somebody's rubbish bin, it's actually in the rubbish bin, with the poo removed. Now, there's a really good reason for that. Um, it is human waste. Now, this bit I love explaining to parents in my workshops because um, it's just like, how do you create a word picture to make people realise how important it is to get rid of the poo. This is the picture. Okay, so just because it comes out of a little baby, and let's face it, newborn poo really hard to get out of the nappy because it's just like wet with some lumps and the wet goes through, gets absorbed, and there's a few lumps there. It's really hard to get out of the nappy, so not, and it's not offensive. However, once the baby's on solids, now it's offensive. For you as a parent, you can deal with it, but it's not fun. Right, so sometimes you get people a bit gaggy, it's not the funnest part. So what happens with disposable nappies? You think you can just roll it up with the poos in it, seal it up, pop it in the rubbish bin. But no. The reason being that when you when you consider this, so the baby's pooing, it's on it's now on solids, so their poo is exactly the same as your poo. Now how appropriate would it be for you to collect your poo? for an entire week, and then go and stick it in the rubbish bin. Yuck. You wouldn't do that, ever. Like, that is the most disgusting thing. You would not collect all your own poo and go and stick it in the rubbish bin for the council to collect on Friday. No. Same thing happens with the baby poo, right? So you've collected a week's worth of baby poo, stuck it in the rubbish bin, Oh, now the, so the poor guy from the council, especially if it's a bag, has to drive along, pick up the bag and stick it in the, in the rubbish bin, in, in the rubbish truck. Oh, that is so gross. Um, especially in the middle of summer, nasty. It's not okay to put human poo in the rubbish bin. It's not, like, just because it comes out of a baby, it's not okay. You actually have to flush the poo down the loo, and then you stick the nappy, roll it up, 
seal it up and then stick it in the rubbish bin. You don't put it in the rubbish bin um, with the poos in it. Okay, so big no-no. And once you start realizing that, well, then using cloth nappies is actually not that hard. I mean, you've just got to um, tip the poo out. And nowadays you can get products like nappy sprayers, um, which is just a little hose with a, a little shower head on the, a little sort of bidet head on the front. You give it a wee shower off and it's done. With your disposables, you just knock it off um, using a, a spatula or something that you've got to stuck in the loo. Give it a knock and then stick it in there. Um, wrap the nappy up, stick it in the rubbish bin. But don't put the poos out there. You'll also notice if you stop putting pooey nappies out into the rubbish bin, the rubbish bin stops smelling because it's actually the poos that makes it really nasty and smelly in there. Um, and also food waste. If you're putting food waste or things that will buy, uh, deteriorate or attract flies, then obviously it gets smelly. So same sort of thing. If you don't put that sort of thing in there and you compost, it doesn't smell. Um, the other thing I'd like to just show you as well is that it is quite important that you do read the packets on the the different products because sometimes um, you don't, like people just assume something is something um, without actually going any further than that. So for example, this one here, we've got our um, the biodegradable nappies. Um, now what... What was interesting, and I had this la a lady point this out to me recently, because she was um, buying them uh, and then wrapping them up and then putting them in her compost bin and leaving them there to compost. Um, what she didn't realise was that there was a set of instructions on the back of the packet that explained how you actually have to deal with the nappies. And so once she did, um, she was quite concerned that she had been doing the wrong thing because what it has on here is there's two sets of disposal instructions if you like. First one is for number one so that's just a wee. Okay so it says remove side grip tabs and front velcro and dispose of in the general waste of the recy or, or recycling. You can't recycle them they have to go in the rubbish bin. Um, the remainder of the nappy may be composted. Most of the remaining nappy will degrade in a composting environment over time. So that's just like it's obviously the elastic and the plastic and things won't, um, but some of it will. What was really concerning for her though was the second set of instructions for number twos, which is obviously the solid factor. Um, remove excess soiling and flush down the toilet, so same as a disposable nappy and a cloth nappy. Do not flush the nappy down the toilet. Instead, fold nappy into a ball and use the grip tabs to enclose, so you're not taking the grip tabs off. Dispose of used nappy into the general waste. Because of hygiene reasons, we do not recommend disposing of the nappy in a composting environment. So, you do have to do a little bit of research on, if you're going to research cloth nappies fully, research disposable nappies fully too. Because both have an impact on the environment for sure. With cloth nappies, it can be during the manufacture process and then um, the washing process, but those, the washing process you have control of, the manufacturing you can choose to buy um, more fair trade or um, uh, good quality ones that will last a long time. You can, you can make purchasing choices like that. With the washing, I've got a whole nother video on washing, but with the washing you have control of how you wash the nappies. So you can personally um, reduce the impact of the nappies on the environment by washing more sensibly, by choosing to um, to wash on cooler temperatures, to use less product, all that sort of thing. Um, so you have control with the cloth nappies. With the disposable nappies, there's the manufacturing process. There is all of the um, like all of the the products that then end up going to the landfill that we don't know how long they'll take to decompose. Um, and that has an impact long term as well. When you think of how many nappies a day go into landfill in New Zealand being around a million a day, um, <clears throat> it's a lot of nappies. So that's, um, you know, when you take it over a year, that's a huge amount of waste going into the landfill. Um, and so that's something that you can reduce through the use of cloth nappies. But both have their own impact. It works out to be, there's been a couple of studies done works out that there's around, cloth nappies are, are around 40% more, uh, are better for the environment 
um, through home laundering and and um, if you wash it on lower temperatures and dry them on the line, they're forty percent better for the environment um, than your disposable nappies. So. To me, using a combination works. You reduce your waste, you have a little bit of convenience when you need it, but you've got both going on, which means that you've got a, a, like a good balance. Uh, if you have a bad day, you just use your disposable nappies, um, but then get back into your cloth nappies as well. So, um, you know, everything has an impact, but it's how you manage it yourself um, as to, to what the end result will be. So I hope that's helpful and um, yeah, uh, if you want some more information on washing cloth nappies then head over to my washing video and you'll learn all about how to wash cloth nappies most effectively. Okay, that's it for me today. See ya.